hi and welcome to ascended stars we got a new layout i'm so excited ah! okay um and happy easter for everybody out there so um you know we've had a different vibe going on ever since this libra <laughs> full moon situation and now with easter here and it's another vibe so what i'm doing is your hidden talents my love your hidden talents i want to know spirit wants to share with you what your hidden talents are so um you know what's stopping you from getting to that this place where you want to be at in your life and your talents that you came in from your past life that you already because we're the gifts we're, we're crystallizing the energy into the the body taurus uranus and taurus energy okay so this is um very interesting because we also have so many planets like mercury going into aries and we i just it's just so fascinating so please go ahead and choose between um pile one two or three i didn't number them but i'll tell you uh the stone okay so this stone is a uh, awakening crystal and it is to wake your soul up then we have amertrine which is your in oops your intuition still getting used to my new setup your intuition okay and dioptase all right it's about love so this might be a love message um or we'll see what it is but you pick what you want okay so um we're gonna start with this one the soul awakening but of course but of course oops you saw something there that's neither here nor there okay let's get into the messages for my beautiful collective on this weekend i hope everybody's enjoying this easter weekend enjoying family as much as they can um life as much as they can okay so this is about soul awakening i am awakening to my true essence and i am a full expression of my soul's vibration so you might be quite a young person but you might be very intuitive and very connected to spirit um okay so let's see what we have here okay yeah because they'll go to the distance okay you're going to go the distance this time in this lifetime you are young or you have a young ability or you now the energy is right and you can go the distance okay so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to set it up and we'll take the messages from there okay so that like that Okay, sorry about this. Um, first time doing this setup, so I gotta get used to it. All right. All right, so uh, you could see the. Um, all right. Do this as well for this one. Okay, I thought of everything, guys. <laughs> okay mars is in virgo and bam um yeah it's all connecting the dots if you're virgos this is probably very good for you all right so uh going the distance so you picked um you're into you picked soul awakening so your soul is awakening and it's going the distance all right uh this is it teaching and learning teaching and learning so either you got to go back to school or you're teaching and you're uh you're building the curriculum okay you are doing it because you have so much what soul knowledge you have so much soul knowledge your soul's awakening to the dna to the information it's had in different lifetimes heck yes hello okay so um woman holding a coin all right so this is the studious one <laughs> it's virgo capricorn taurus but virgo is very knowledgeable about health Taurus, um, also since Uranus, man, you got to know us about everything because Uranus knows everything, uh, that which rules Aquarius. And then you have uh, Capricorn, which is about, you know, the material world, which is everything here in the 3D. But um, let's see why this, this came out. We, we got to paint the whole picture. The goddess of the moon, okay? So you might be very intuitive, um, you might be teaching of the of the magical realms okay the the spirit realms the higher ups the star seeds 
uh, this is what I'm getting. Like you might have like all this information, all this downloads, all this knowledge. Okay. These are your hidden talents, my loves. Okay. Yeah. A new door is opening for this to manifest. Okay. This is the age of Aquarius where it was astrology and all of the star seeds and all of the crystalline children. So we have the door to personal healing and happiness. How beautiful. And that's, um, that's what's going to take you there focus on this door of opportunity. I feel, okay, so for you, I feel like this door of opportunity is opening up, okay? This door of opportunity is opening up and you got to stay focused. You got to stay on, on target, okay? You got to read, read. You got to stay up on your reading, your knowledge. You, I feel like a, a knife, like you're sharp as a whip, man. You can, you are very, you're like fly paper. You remember stuff real easily. This is why you'd be so good at teaching. Okay. Then we have uh, fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. And when I said you're like fly paper is because, uh, you know, I, I just heard that term. My, my teacher who knew all these herbs and ch Chinese medicine, English fella, who, um, just knew the Chinese language like it was his own <laughs> and the herbs and it was like there's it so he's like yeah my memory's like flypaper and I, I never forgot that term okay sorry about that um yeah so I'm getting a really studious like graduate school like you guys have a lot of knowledge like you've 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 implemented a lot of knowledge maybe you're not using your skill set yet you know you haven't implemented it you haven't uh exercise your will to do the things that you want to do I, I feel like you don't really fall in the system too i feel like you're very um alternative okay so the fourth chakra archangel Raphael. okay you might be an intuitive as speaking of you might be uh, very connected to the heart chakra maybe you've done research maybe you know a lot about heart maybe uh you can help people heal their heart broken hearts i don't know it's a beautiful energy but let's uh I don't have any more on him, but look him up, Google him, okay? He's probably specializes in some kind of health modal modality. Um, the cat, independence, healthy boundaries. What's stopping you is that you don't have healthy boundaries, okay? So this is what your hindrance is from getting to your goals and to doing what you have to have healthy boundaries. You really must focus on that, okay? And um, the cat is like people come to you when they F and want to, and you need to quit that. That's because your boundaries aren't good and healthy, all right? If people call you, okay, the, the one thing about getting to your goals is that people will come and distract you, and they'll be the people that you've been wanting to get a hold of, and they don't call call you only when you're in the middle of doing your per, your life purpose, and you're doing something good for yourself, what they call. So I don't know. That's just a side note. <laughs> okay, so what do we have here? The main cards is books. So you might be a writer. You connect to your life purpose through your involvement with books. This is why they're saying you can become an author. You have to, you're going to teach once you write a book or a pamphlet or information that you have knowledgeable you can share about. Uh, author. Okay, you got author here. Author's on the table. Yep. And I don't mean the movie. <laughs> I'm dating myself. Yeah. You have a book inside of you that wishes to be expressed. Make the time to write it. Okay, you can go the distance. You might say, oh, I'm too old. I can't do it, blah, blah, blah. They're saying, no, go the distance. You got it in you. You got it in you, baby. All right, so here we go. You got to persist. You got to persist. Keep pushing. Okay, every day, do a little page. Do a little um, sentence. Do a little paragraph. You know, do a little how I feel today. Um, keep 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 at it keep kicking keep pushing moderation okay day by day take it day by day all right it will happen and more self-discipline you got to get more self-discipline to go the distance okay more self-discipline to go the distance hello okay so this is what's hindering you from getting there at this time but you have it in you it's you just have to apply yourself before you know time is going to pass anyway you might as well have something to show for it right okay so and the thing that's also hindering you is that you worry too much about it this definitely sounds like a virgo definitely sounds like a virgo um i'm learning that worry doesn't change an outcome oh heck to the no 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 all right so special messages for you Please believe in your dreams. Spirit is saying, please believe in your dreams. You know, let go of your doubts. Believe in yourself. This has been um, ongoing, you know, ongoing situation where you come and you 
don't finish it up. You know, it's a looping. The, the infinity is right there. So I kind of feel like that's kind of a, a, a karmic thing that you, you came to do, okay? And you get distracted easily. You get off your path. You get worried. You get worried, and then you get off your path, all right? So you have to use your higher crown. This is also the knowledge is in there, okay? So you always wonder why people don't listen to me. Why da da? Because you're supposed to like, uh, you know, empower yourself and get this going, all right? This will give you money. This is gonna make money for you, okay? Stop worrying. Start. Stop doing. Stop worrying. Start doing. <laughs> That's what I heard. Oh my god! And then your special message is intuition, okay? So you're gonna be talking about maybe the intuition. Or maybe you're an empath and you have to write about it and then, you know, you can help other empaths. I don't know, but it's like your intuition is telling you this is your time. This is strike while the iron is hot. Iron being metal, being the word, be, you know, metal is air element. So there's so much you're going to get right now with Mercury and Mars. So it's time for you to start doing it, okay? That's beautiful. Beautiful. Yay. You get a ding. All right, so let's keep moving. Group two. Group two. Let's see what's going on with you, group two. What's um going on with you, group two? Here we are. Here we are. So your card was um, intuition. So we left it off with intuition, and now we're back to intuition. Is that interesting or what okay so we have two here and okay we have a lot of messages we have a lot of messages for you darlings a lot of messages came in for you all right so um wow I don't know if I put the soul card there. I can't remember how I did it last time. I'm so confused. Ah! All right. Okay. Wow. Okay. I remember this one now. I remember this one now. Okay. All right. So here we go. We're at 1235. For you, my loves, if you picked two for intuition, 1242, um, what's going on with you is love. <laughs> you have a loyal heart. So you might not be getting into it career-wise because you're uh, in love. <laughs> You need to be loyal. You need, Okay, so this could also be, be who, what are, okay, this is interesting energy. What are you going to commit to, my loves? Commitment. You got to commit to something, okay? This is about commitment. Commit to yourself. Commit to your higher self. And guess what? You will find your soulmate when you do this. Ah, wow. So that's faded. That's faded. I love, <laughs> wow, okay. Okay, spirit, got you. You're meant to be a leader, not a follower. It says, Archangel Gabriel, it is time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others. Okay, hello from heaven. So this could be also a loyal heart to somebody that could be a mother, father, grandmother, brother, sister that is helping you up in heaven and that you guys are twin flames. And so because you have this intuition card, you are have you have a spirit um, medium. You, you might be a medium. You have a spirit on the other side who can help you channel the messages is also another message I got for you. Um, and that's why you, you will be a great leader because they will, they will uh, help you to be a great leader here. Okay. Body work, your life purpose involves body work, such as massage therapy, energy work, physical therapy, or exercise training. Wow. That's intense. Oh my God. That's so cool. Okay, and let go. Yeah, walk away from the situation in order to resolve it. Okay, so I think because you are um, burdened by this love that you have for somebody on the other side, it's really hard for you to pick it up, pick up the, the, the pieces because I think you're brokenhearted, but it's fated for you to be a leader. And this was fated. This, per this soul came and influenced you and um, inspired you. 
And so that you're supposed to take that fire and transform it, right? Transform it into what you want to do with your life. And this person was a very good advocate for what you wanted to do. Oh my God, I'm telling my friend. <laughs> I, I, because, the, okay, let me give you an example. When I started this channel, I was two months live and I didn't get any clients. And I had a, a friend who had a heart transplant plant. And um, I just said, yeah, you know, because I had done a reading for her and her lover. And she was like, you're good. You're really good. Keep it up. And she told me, and she passed away, but, uh, you know, she told me to keep it up. So I just, this is, if that means anything to anyone, okay? So purpose, okay? So somebody's not on their purpose, okay? Because it came in up, uh, upside down. So currently they're so, like, away from their purpose right now. Unfortunately, I don't feel like you're, you're not, you don't feel like you should be a leader, okay? Like, I don't feel like I should be a leader either. Like, oh, what? I'm going to have 20K on, on, on YouTube? You know? No, I don't have 100K or 600, but, I mean, 20-something, and, and I love you guys. I love you guys so much. So this is, um, you know, my soul group. So this is, so I get it. You get it. You're going to find your soul group, but you're off your path right now. Okay. Group two, you're off your path. Oh my God. So you got to take care of your health. Okay. This is, you got to take care of your health because you're having a hard time letting go of something, someone, this is what's holding you back right now. You have hidden talent in your intuition. You have a medium on the other side who wants to help you. They've been wanting to, I hear, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome, welcome, welcome. Wow, okay. Um, spiritual growth, okay. It's time for you to have that spiritual growth. And this has been very heartbreaking, of course, because you came in expecting to stay with this person. You know, I really respect widows. Like I see widows. I have seen widows like on YouTube. That was been really crazy to me. But you guys, I see you and I really respect the um, the dedication that you have in keeping it up even after your soulmate has passed on. And it's it's beautiful to watch. And, and it's, you know, I don't know. I just have to say that. Um, ideas and inspiration. So you will be getting downloaded ideas and inspiration. I'm going to try to cover this thing. <laughs> Well, this one is too bright huh okay so and this one too is too bright sorry you guys i can't believe these spirit is so good i'm telling you <laughs> all right so in ideas and inspiration okay so you're going to get some ideas and inspiration to help you let go of this um so yeah and you're you you you're there you had a huge romance Okay, and you keep thinking back to this romance and it's stopping you from progressing. Okay, you also let's see what else we have because we had a lot of messages with you. Yeah, you're thinking of this king. Okay, interesting man, authority, male, sexual energy, things pertaining to the law and justice. So, right now, you really this could also be your hindrance as to like you know, like you were going to be with somebody, but um, this person you're going to meet with work as well. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? All right. I like that. Pride and leadership. You got leadership twice. Okay. So you need to get off this um, sad situation or whatever it is. You're going to be healing. It's going to be turning the page. And you're going to meet somebody at work. And physical health, grounding, and foundations. Or you're going to be working out together with this person. How interesting. Again, more physical energy. You're very physical. You might be a fire sign. How interesting. Okay. Um, yeah. You got some haters. You got some haters out there. And uh, you might have had some, um, you also, okay, I'm getting, okay, guys, I'm getting two hits, okay, because you got, I'm an intuitive and I do all kinds of things. So here we go. I'm getting that somebody, you know, has separated you and this person, but don't worry, like, it's, it's faded. You're meant to be with this person, okay? Um, they're, they're envious of your leadership because you're a star, baby. You're a star, you're a star, Okay. Um, they're trying to disable you through your health and then you're like confused now because of this stuff that they've done. All right. Um, it don't matter because you're getting abundance and blossoming. It's coming out. All this stuff, abundance is coming out no matter what. They can't do nothing to you. Okay. You're getting this. You, you will get back on your purpose. They can't touch you, baby. All right. So just know that. And, um, because you got your ancestors, ancient wisdom, okay? They watching out for you. They got you. They got your back. They got you. I got you, baby. I got you. You part of the tribe over here. And oh no, they're going to be getting it. Okay? So um 
Wow, powerful message, powerful message. Let's see what we have for you guys. The owl, again, more ancient wisdom and follow your intuition, all right? So if you're like, damn, I knew it. I knew that person was like kind of a jerk or whatever and they kind of gave me a bad vibe or evil eye or whatever. Um, trust your intuition. That's You got to trust your intuition, okay? Romance is coming. You, you, I think, I feel like this person's had a really hard time. Like, you know, their health got beaten. They were confused. They haven't had any good luck. Um, yeah, and I just feel like you guys have taken a beat in here. It just feels really like, look, like she just kind of looks like a little down, like not, not in her full power yet. Yeah, the earth fairy, physical health, grounding foundations. Okay, so it, it's also, um, all right, let's see what else we got. I am beautiful, low self-esteem. Yeah, inadequacy. Okay, that's what it, because this is. The Earth is Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. So it's like somebody, um, they're not proud of their body. You know, like they're not proud of their physical body or whatever. This is what it is. So this is the motivation that like you try so hard and you do physical work and you look good. And this is like really motivating for you because you've been, you transform that energy of, the, of your body image is what I'm getting. Okay. For some of you. And, um, and you truly are beautiful. Okay. So the next card is legends learn from those who inspire you <laughs> there's a lot of legends out there so you can start following people and then um maybe you know download some of their be, become one of their followers and do their steps and then implement it for yourself and then start teaching it to others or something like that i mean it sounds like really cool but i think you're really motivated by romance here um but I also get that you're going to fall in love with what you're doing. Like this spiritual growth is going to just, you're going to be so in love with it, in love with your body, in love with yourself and that, that higher vibration, because you're in a low vibration here. Maybe you are an envious person. Okay. Um, and that's, that's also what's been holding you up. And, and you, you feel like you've been dealt like a, a hard hand. Like you, you're like, like other people have it easier than you. Is, is kind of a little bit of what I get. Let's get, uh, because your, your, yours is so interesting. I want to put something here more positive over the Envy card. Okay, my loves, let's see. And I have the um, Mermaid Angels. Mermaid Angels? Ready, set, go. Now is the perfect moment to dive in and embrace your heart's desire. Okay, so Virgo uh, in Mars, this is a time to take action. You know, you're going to be, you're healed. You healed a lot of this um, emotional stuff. Look at all that water. You healed a lot of that. Okay. So um, you're, because what, what it is, is it, where our mind goes, our body will follow. So if you're thinking bad thoughts and they're envious thoughts or somebody's throwing this stuff to you, you got to raise your vibration because they can't get to you. You're going through a spiritual growth right now. They really can't get to you. They can't tap into your energy and stuff if you keep it high, if you keep yourself uh, vibing high. Okay, let's do another one. Alchemy. Wow, I love this. You have the Midas touch right now and every project you begin turns to gold. Okay, you will be wanted. Okay, people will love what it is that you have you know, your vibe and, and like, you know, doing your own thing and like getting clients. I don't think you're going to have a hard time. I just think you have to get over yourself and just over this pain. Some it's different scenarios. Somebody had somebody that passed over. Somebody has had black magic on them. Or the, the other scenario is you, you might be envious a little bit. That's lowered your vibration because you're like, why are they doing it? And I can't blah, blah, blah. So now you're just kicking into high gear because now you've had a spiritual upload. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Romance is coming into this one. I love it. Thank you so much, Spirit. Your hidden talents. Okay, this is what's up, this is what's obstructing you from getting to your hidden place. You're gonna have such happiness. You're gonna be legendary. Like people are gonna be like, oh, you have to go to her. Oh, you gotta go to my girl. She'll take care of you. You feeling down and out? That's what that's my my clients refer me clients, and that's what they say. They're like, oh, you gotta go to my girl Allie got to go to my girl Allie. She's like, I'm not feeling good. And they go, I got you. Okay, so this is if you pick diapetes. And diapetes is about love. I am love. Love is in me. So you, you're going to definitely be um, doing something that you love. That you love. Like you're, you're, 
your joy is coming from something that you love. Let's set it up, baby. Let's set it up. You got to go to my girl, Allie. She'll take care of you. I love my clients so much. Um, so blessed. Okay. Let's look at you. Group three. It's about love. Okay. So you got to do something that you love, my loves. And um, all right. Let's take a look. It's been hard. Okay. Because you're an empath, I feel, and you're very sensitive. All right. So you have to breathe because maybe you haven't been offered the uh, skill set on how to cope with stress, all right? Observe others. Okay? Um, don't, don't interact with them at this time. Don't intercede with them. Don't interact. Uh, and then let me just look at this. Heart's desire. you got to follow your heart's desire, okay? Uh, the, the angels are supporting, guiding, and protecting you as your dreams become reality. All right. So that's, that's for sure happening. And you have leadership. You're meant to be a leader. All right. Take charge of this situation. All right. So what's going on? Why are you battling this? You feel like an orphan. You feel, um, abandoned. And I'm sorry about that. Why is that? Okay, you think a lot about this whole situation. It stresses you out, you know? Like, you don't do anything. You're just sitting there thinking. But Archangel Michael is protecting you, okay? Because you've had a hard time. It looks like you've had a hard... Like, maybe people haven't believed you. They've walked away on you, you know? But you're protected at this point in time. So you are protected by Archangel Michael. And you've had attachment, okay? This is why you're orphaned, because you have had an attachment, okay? Buddha says um, the root to happiness is non-attachment. So you give your power away because you don't want to be abandoned and you get attached to someone. So Archangel Michael says if you're attached to something toxic, he's going to cut the ties because you can't do that to yourself. You see, the angels are protecting us from us, our own bad choices. But you're going to have an answered prayer, okay? You're going to have an answered prayer. Let's see here. Okay, you got there's deception that happened there's deception that went on here um so you you deceive yourself by believing in others and not your own higher wisdom so when you attach to someone or their belief systems or whatever they think about you you're short you're giving yourself the short end of the stick there by not following your own higher judgment and you know this because you're creative you are super creative but you don't believe in yourself okay you need somebody to be like oh i'm on team uh, 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 you know, like that's like Libra energy. Like I need a team player. I need you to be with me. I need you to help me. I need me to walk through it. Let's go to the store together. Let's go get the supplies together. No, you are on fire. The fire queen does not do that. She goes and gets it. She hustles. She moves. She takes action and she does not wait for anybody. Okay. To go with her. So that's a rebirth energy that's coming here for you. Okay. Do not be waiting on anybody else to help you out. You do it on your own. A soulmate's coming. Okay, you're going to fall in love with what you do. And you're, you're going to be vibing so high, okay, that you're not going to have this attachment, uh, to, uh, orphaned feeling. Because you are your own soulmate who's going to find a soulmate, if that makes any sense. Archangel Michael twice. Hello. Wow. You are protected, my sweets. You are protected, okay? So, you are in separation, but you're meant to be flying high. See, these are all divine feminine readings, I feel. And this is how we're supposed to be uh, moving in regards to our hidden talents. We're, we can't be in union until we get off the ground. 
<laughs> oh god okay take back your power honey bunny take back your power roar i hear archangel raziel use your god-given power and intuition to manifest blessings in your life hello archangel michael angel therapy okay and it's so funny because i picked these two together but i didn't see i didn't see this one i guess and i was like wow i you got lots of angel help okay so you're supposed to be a leader they're gonna make you a leader whether you want to do or not it seems like they're you're gonna be push you it's like they're pushing you on stage and then you have to be like oh uh, 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 and start talking it's weird that's what i feel okay but you have to have compassion for yourself okay be compassionate for yourself. Quan Yin. You're, you are too hard on yourself. You judge yourself too much. I'm not where I'm supposed to be. I'm not too old. I'm too young. I'm too fat. Two, 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 two. So um, this is a nine, nine. So this is, you have so much wisdom. Okay. The hermit wisdom, ancient wisdom. You have so much of it. All right. And you need to start applying it. An answered prayer is coming. What's the answered prayer? So much coming. So get, just get to work and do what you got to do. Forget this is going to happen as you're in action okay uh you're gonna shine okay you're meant to be a star like you're meant to be seen darling you are meant to be seen wow okay spirit and it's just you know it's strength right now because i do feel like you're in separation from the soulmate so i feel like it just it it, it it's um knocked you down and archangel michael is just protecting you the angels are just protecting you because look, your first one was love. Do what you love, okay? This thing is like a done deal. You need to love yourself more than you love this connection too, all right? Which is like, because you're never alone. Even in, if you're not in the connection, you're never alone, all right? You gotta get on your mission. That's what I, get on your, that's what I wanna say. Get on your mission. You're welcome, thank you. You're gonna have enlightenment, okay? Enlightenment on how to move, what you gotta do, go out to nature. Um, and then that's that's what we got and you keep doubting yourself you keep doubting yourself and then you don't do it all right so let's get you some mermaid cards too spirit says you're loved you're meant to be a leader you're meant to be out there people love will love you actually when they see you positive energy wow you're getting a blast of positive energy to make it, to do it, to make it happen, to make it come together. We're going to help you along the way. You got an army here. You got an army here. Like this person, like don't put, uh, baby doesn't stay in the corner, you know, don't put her in the corner. Positive energy, surround yourself with positive people and situations and avoid negativity at all costs. Let's get another one. Pay attention, okay? Pay attention. Notice repetitious signs and your inner guidance as this can yield valuable information. Wait. Wait before you reply, respond, okay? Um, because you could, okay, this is about cutting ties. Because Archangel Michael cuts ties with toxic things, things that aren't healthy for you, okay? So you're going to be, you're going to be, somebody's going to reach out. They might feel like an orphan and they might have an attachment, okay? This is what I'm talking about right here. You have to have compassion for yourself. Do what you came to do on this planet. You have to do it. Do not let anybody come and interrupt you. You're in a state of enlightenment, okay? So you'll be able to control and do a lot of things at once. Look at, she's got a lot of hands there, all right? This is, um, I think it's Shiva. Oh, and the peacock again. You're, you're meant to come out. You're meant to come out, all right? Your heart's desire is here. It's here. Okay, so somebody is going to make you doubt. If you go back to an attachment, you will go back to this. You will go back to doubt. Okay, be an observer. Watch when somebody's like interrupting you when you're at a very high creative state. Okay, take a deep breath and love yourself. Okay, love yourself more because you have a lot of strength here. That's pushing you through to go do it, okay? You're going to have the strength to do it. Because there's so much that you have to say. You're the thinking woman, okay? This woman is very smart. She knows all her legal stuff. She knows her medical stuff. She knows her financial stuff. She's really bright, okay? This is, this is, your knowledge is needed. Like, somebody needs your knowledge out there. They need your help, okay? So just know that. 
And that's why you're being protected because they know that you need to be guarded. I mean, that, that the, your information needs to come out. You have a lot of good information here. I don't know what it is, but... So this is a rebirth, okay? And don't feel inadequate. Stop, stop doubting yourself. Stop doubting yourself. You're not inadequate. You have so much information. Okay, info is power in the, in the, in the age of Aquarius. That's what I needed to tell you. Info is power in the age of Aquarius. All right, my loves. Thank you for watching. I wish you the best. Have a wonderful weekend. Happy Easter. Blessings. Much white light. Stay positive. High vibe. Keep high vibing high, my loves. Keep vibing high because th those are coming. They want to come and get us, but they can't because they're not. We're not going to be available because we're too high up for them. All right. Love you. Bye bye.